All right, how you doing? My name is Mick from Manchild Outdoors. Once again, bringing some footage to you from the Great Outdoors Show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I'm here today with Tethered, and I have Ernie, the owner of Tethered, with me. Yep. To explain the whole deal to you because I don't know much about saddles, so I don't want to just chop it apart and not give it to you accurately. So firsthand, the expert, Ernie, how you yeah, doing today? Thank you. Yeah, doing well. Uh, yeah, Greg and I started this business about five years ago, but the idea was to make make you a better hunter, make you more efficient, mobile, allow you to go places that you might not be able to get to before, and more importantly, really open up your options for where you want to be able to into the tree. So when you get into the woods, instead of looking for the tree that works with your climber, the tree that works with your lock-on, you're looking for the tree that works for where you're going to kill that deer. And Absolutely. this allows you to have a lot more options on that front, and it's easier, lighter to carry into the woods and etc. You know, ultimately, we're trying to make a better hunter out of you by giving you the mobility, the option to have a 360 degree shot, having the ability to hunt places, move when you need to, and just, like I said, faster, be a more efficient hunter. Absolutely, and yeah, and I, I don't know much about saddles once again, but I'm here to learn, I'm here to be a better hunter, like he's saying, and, and you can't help but to, to see the presence of saddles now everywhere you look. Everyone loves them, that gets in them, so. I'm very much more open-minded now than in the beginning. So if you could just take me through a saddle setup and take through the viewers through a saddle setup and we'll go from there and we'll see how they work. And, and... All right, so we're here with Jeremy and we're gonna show you some of the basics of how this system works. It's not a super complicated system once you get the hang of it, but if you're new to it, it can be a little overwhelming. So the main idea with a saddle system is you're in a harness, it's a seat, you're attached and tethered to the tree yeah, by your tether. So you gotta get You've got a platform for your feet and the rest of it is just being able to be in the tree and have some mobility you'll see jeremy in here is able to take a shot from this angle and then with really easy smooth movements he can get around the tree and get right into there so that's going to give you 360 degrees of shot mobility now there is some movement involved but how many times are you in a fixed position tree stand where you don't even have the option of shooting behind you. I'd rather have the ability and risk the movement than not have the ability at all. And so that's where a saddle really shines. And then again, all of this stuff will pick it, will pack into your backpack so that it's a lightweight, easy, movable solution. And it's super comfortable. Yes. <laughs> Sit like that and you're just kind of waiting. The idea is you can use the tree for cover. So if your target animals are in this direction here, you can hide behind the tree it lowers your profile of what the animal might see through that tree and that allows you to open up and get into a position to shoot when the time comes. It's awesome. Now how about the shooting positions as far as getting over the tether to rope? You don't. You don't? You don't. Yep, I, I tell everybody, you never want to take your bow up and over the tether because that gets you all twisted up and into bad form. So instead of twisting up and over the bridge, you can go under it to get a shot like this or rotate around the tree like we had shown before because ultimately you're going to want to keep that bow at a 90 degree angle to your body and if you start trying to do this and get over the bridge it gets you all twisted up gotcha so it's just learning how to use the system yeah yep exactly so the idea is get comfortable with it we tell everybody set up just like this a foot off the ground in your backyard set up a block target get used to rotating around a tree and getting those shots and in no time it'll just click and you'll have it figured out awesome awesome i'm a little overwhelmed i don't even know what question to ask next because i have like a thousand going through my head now what's the typical best comfort for say not a young cat that you could probably put them on a milk crate to be comfortable all day but like somebody like my age your age what's the ideal position for us to just stay comfortable for like all day yeah it's really really personal um but i will say this you're not going to sit in the same position all day. Right. It's just not realistic. You know, even if you're sitting in a ladder stand or you're sitting in a traditional stand, at, you'll find yourself leaning to one side, leaning to the other side. Maybe you stand up for a minute. Your body's just not made to sit still for that amount of time. And this is no different. So you might be standing like he's doing now leaning. You might put your knee against the tree. You can make adjustments in your tether that'll adjust how high or low the seat is. Uh, you can adjust your bridge. There's lots of things you can do to kind of make changes over the course of a hunt. This is no different than anything else. 
I mean, you can't even sit on your couch at home for 14 hours without getting up and moving. So this is going to be the same situation. All right. My concern is like the strap in the bottom. Does that ever like make that like pinch point in the back of your leg, kind of like sitting on the, the toilet? No, because you've got all this fabric in between there. So it's not just the strap holding you. If it's fitted right and you're actually sitting in it correctly, your weight is distributed over the entire saddle. There is some on these straps. There's no doubt about that. And you can actually adjust how much pressure is on the bottom or the top by adjusting the comfort channels. And this is just a way that we can adjust where the angle of this saddle is. And you can adjust that over time. Again, it's just one of the things you can do as your day goes on to change the comfort. Gotcha. All right, so that's pretty much the rundown of the tethered system. If you need to know anything else, just sign on to any of their social media platforms. Check it out. There's videos on YouTube. I'm pretty sure they got a, a number there they can call. Yeah, we've got a customer service number. You can call into there. You, we've got a, an email line. We've got all of our social media. You know, go to tetherednation.com. It'll direct you to all of that stuff. Okay, yeah, and I know at shows, if you ever can make it down to the shows, you can make it down still. There's still time to get down here to Harrisburg. Check them out. They'll put you in a saddle yourself, and then you can just get your own feel and your own questions and, and just kind of size it up and see what you think. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ernie, for your time. I really appreciate Absolutely. you. You're very humble and you're very nice. He's very approachable, so get down here. Talk to the man yourself, yeah. figure his stuff out, and get out there, hunt, share the outdoors with somebody you love, and go get you some deer. There you go, man.